afternoon, one and all. I am Magesh from Palani, a famous Tudim center in Tamil Nadu. Like Tripuri is famous for uh, Ladoos, Palani is famous for Pajam. It's me to enjoy life and be happy. So, morning I would go to my school by auto. In the evening, what happens is my father picks me in scooter and takes me to cinemas. So, my mother will be looking for me all around. So, uh, there will be no clue for the mother where I went. But uh, we, I, I and my father would enjoy life. This, on the other hand, my mother is very strict officer. So, she always insists me to be discipline oriented. So, in those days, a television would be available in one or two homes in the entire street. The whole street was gathered for a Friday program. And I started screaming, clapping, and shouting at a Khan's uh, shop. What happened was, an yeah, uh, elderly fat lady called me, uh, what are you doing like a rowdy? My mother, being a discipline advocated, got irritated and signaled me to come home immediately. And there she showed me what rowdyism is. So <laughs> the big fat lady called me as a rowdy, and my mother turned a rowdy. That was a rowdy day indeed. I, I still cannot forget that day in my life. So I was a mediocre student in my school, so I had no big aims. I just see things and observe and make assumptions out of it. So my, my uncle was a big shot. He had so much of money, and wherever he went, he was respected. So I thought, with money comes respect. That was my first assumption. The second assumption was, your parents need to be educated for you to shine in any field. That was my second assumption. So days flew off, I was in my 10th class, and I, I wrote my exams and waiting for my results. I spent my time in my uncle's shop. There I met my friend Ashok. He was also waiting for his 10th results. So we both gelled uh, well. So we enjoyed life like no one on the earth would have done it. So we used to watch movies together. We used to eat. We used to sleep in the shop itself. We had a fun time. He was an Ajit fan. I was a Vijay fan. So <laughs> it always creates controversies and we will fight. At the end of the day, I will console him in the same way he will console me. So time was flowing like this. Uncle, Ashok's uncle used to organize chess tournament in and around Palani. One such tournament was going on, so we closed the shop and we were uh, we went to watch the chess tournament. Ashok's uncle was playing against a small boy, six standard guy. He was the junior chess champion in that area. So what happened was we played and we stumbled upon the board and disturbed their game. So I, so Ashok's uncle got very very much irritated. He what is boiling point? In shouted as well. Do you know what this is? This is a game that is to be played by individuals, not a dumb fellow like you. You are free to roam around and look after girls, not to get uh, somewhere in life. You get us dash and drink, and then you will get uh, some uh, good feelings or good senses from more. I was shocked for the first time in life. I was hearing such uh, words. So we both uh, did not eat that day, and we did not sleep also. But as usual, I assume that yes, your parents need to be educated and you need great trainers to train you chess and I left there. But Ashok took it very seriously. What he did was, he bought a costly chess board. So in, 19, uh, in 2000, he bought a chess board for 500 rupees, but his savings were that much. He bought a costly chess board, he bought chess books and practiced the moves did by Gary Kasparov and uh, Ishan Anand. He almost played for 10 to 15 hours himself. So he did a anything that he could do for the chess. So what happened was, the next year in six months, the chess tournament came up, he participated in it and he won the tournament and he held as a champion of that area. So my assumptions have uh, gone wrong. So I, I assume that with money comes respect, but people started respecting Ashok after this victory. Also, his uh, parents also not educated. He himself practiced and won the tournament. The beauty is, after seeing this victory, Ashok's uncle invited him to play against him. You remember, six months earlier or one year earlier, he was telling that drink that something so that you get some good senses. After that, later, he is inviting him to play. So the first game went on. It went on for five hours. So it was a close game, but Ashok won with his brilliant moves. So unable to accept the victory, Ashok's uncle ordered him to play one more. So he ordered, ordered, the totally went to ten. Ashok won 10 out of 10 games. So this uh, this is the first incident that hit me hard and broke all my assumptions. So I was thinking I was in a different world. After seeing this incident, I took it to my heart and I, I have implemented it in my life for so many times. So once the incident, I was a dumb guy in 10th center, but in plus two I scored district first, also a secured a uh, center just because of that incident. So this is a journey that, uh, so I what I learned was so your assumptions are myths doesn't matter. What matters is you and your belief. 
So throughout this incident, what happened was, you see, my father loves to enjoy life. My mother loves to be disciplined. I love to speak or watch movies. Ashok loves chess. So yesterday, my uh, mentor, she helped me to, uh, she loved to help me. Also, Toastmaster Venkatesh helps to organize things, or loves to organize things. So, wherever you see, love is the one word that is coined, that is bringing everybody together. So, this is a, being a Valentine's Day. What I feel was, if love is within you, and you will be God, because love is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnipresent. Thanks for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you.